So, welcome back to our EBC Brakes Tech Talk series. I'm down here in Bristol today at our friction factory, and I'm here with Steve Payne, our research and development manager. So, we're going to be looking at our motorcycle, scooter, ATV, UTV, or if you're watching in the States, side-by-side -side brake pads. So, let's get into this. So, today we're going to be talking about our organic range of motorcycle pads. So, Steve, can you give me a brief overview on this range, please? Well, we've got the two materials here, um, the TT or X pads as they're known, uh, which is the off-road version, and the on-road version, the, the FA series. Okay, and what are these pads designed for? Uh, well, this on-road uh, version is basically any, um, any road going bike. Okay. And the, the off-road version is any off-road bike, basically. <laughs> Dirt bikes, trail bikes, and so on. So... After installing these pads, would you expect a better lever feel or would it be improved? You should do, yeah, organic pads in general give very good um, feedback through the, through the lever, good modulation, uh, so you should, you should get very good, uh, good feel through these, uh, through these pads. And are these safe to use on the road? Yeah, they're both um, safe on the road, they're both fully R90 approved across the range. So if I install these pads with this setup, do I have to run EBC rotors or discs or could I run any? You could run any discs. I mean, obviously, we, we're going to promote our own and uh, EBC discs are excellent quality, but it's not essential to run EBC discs. Okay. And with installing these pads, do I need to upgrade my fluids? Do I need to go to braided lines or is it a not a necessity for it's these? It's not a necessity, no. I mean, again, it's, it's advisable, it, it, it will help, but it's, it's not essential. Okay. Um, are these suitable for track use? They're not designed for track use. There are other pads within the range that are, but these are very much aimed at, um, at as we say, as off-road, scrambling and on-road, but not for track. Right, okay. And in a roundabout way, because I know you can't go too much into it, what makes up an organic pad? Uh, well, they're called organic because they're, they're, they're held together with uh, a resin, which is an organic material. So they're resin bonded composites, um, anywhere between 10 and 15 components, which obviously we don't, we don't go into the details of the no. formulation. But yeah, they're, they're resin bonded pads, which is where the, where the name organic comes from. Okay. And what kind of bedding do these require and what is the best way to bed them in? Um, the best way to bed them in, it really is to, is to check the website. All the information is on there, but uh, generally we, we would normally run them for the first sort of two, three hundred miles without doing any emergency braking, if, if possible, obviously. Um, the, the performance level will come up as you get increased contact between the disc and the pad. Uh, but check the website, all the information is on there. Okay, well, thank you very much, Steve. So that is it for this episode. Don't forget to keep an eye on the channel for the next episode. And if you want to find out any more about these pads, click in the link in the description and it will take you to a page explaining everything about these pads. See you next episode.